Hello, I'm using a, a theme called White Space Pro by Studio Press, and this theme lets me group posts in any way I like with a headline and a bit of introductory text above the grouping of posts. If you have a look at the home page, this is a typical home page with a list of posts, but there's a way that you can make pages inside your site that list any post you want in any kind of uh, any kind of grouping. So what we're going to do first of all, I want to make a category. So my dashboard, go to posts, categories. I'm going to make a category called cars. Just type your name of your category in there. Add new category. So now we've got a category called cars in post categories add new cars on to edit to that category and if you scroll down this edit category page we'll find this 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 is in a studio press theme you can't add this headline and introductory text in all themes this is a studio press theme uh, we're looking for category archive settings so i need a bit of text to put in there and this is the category called cars. Save me typing it out. So that'll be the headline, and I want a bit of text underneath. You can actually put HTML in this. If you know how to write HTML, you can put HTML in this second box here. Um, I'm just putting a bit of text in there, but if you know HTML, you can put HTML in that box. So it's category, archive settings, headline, and intro text update so now we've got a category with a headline and a bit of text above it but we need to put things in the category of cars if we go there now so we go to view that category so we're in post categories hover over the category click view but there's nothing in the category yet this is the headline we put in and that's a bit of introductory text so we need to put things in that category now so we go to dashboard posts all posts and it's about cars so I'm going to put some cars in so we've got to all posts hover over the post quick edit categories choose the category another one quick edit choose the category update and another one quick edit choose the category of cars which is the one we just made update now if we go to category we made view it again now we've got only the posts we put in that category it's the cars category and listed in that category are only posts that we we put in the category so now we need a, a link on a menu bar I'm going to put another menu under here so we'll go to dashboard appearance menus I want to make a new menu, create a new menu called category and tax. I'm going to do the same thing with a, a tag listing. So we've got new menu, create menu. Now to make a menu that has the category link in it, when you're making menus you've got pages, links, categories. So open the categories one click view all to make sure you can see all the categories that are, you've made select the one you want, I want the cars category, add to menu save menu now I want to make that menu appear in a particular place so I'll click manage menus or manage locations and I want the secondary navigation menu <coughs> pardon me, to be that categories and tags menu I've just made so select it, save changes and if we go to our page, you get to our site again, we've now got this extra nav bar here. So click that the link, and we've got posts in the category of cars, bit of blurb we put, and the posts that are in that category display under here. So we can do a similar thing with um, tags. So all we need to do with tags, I've already made some have a look, posts, all posts 
I made a tag and I've tagged some posts with the tag of Steam. So to make a tag all you need to go is posts, tags, then you got uh, add a new tag there. I've already made a tag called Steam and I'm going to edit that tag though. So go to post, tags, choose the tag you want to use. I'm going to edit the Steam tag that I made. And if I scroll down this page, just like we had before, headline text and intro text. So I'm just going to put a bit of, change that text a little bit, so it's easier to understand. Oh, <laughs> it was the same as we had before. And this other bit of text I made, just so we know what's going on. And this again, if you want to, in this archive intro text box, you can put HTML if you know how to use HTML. So that's it. I've put the headline and the text, intro text into a tag archive settings in the edit tag box, update. Now I've already tagged some posts with the tag of Steam, but we need to add a, um, a link. So we'll go to appearance, menus, uh, now with these there's no link there's no sort of easy option for adding tag archive lists so we'll have to go to the actual tag let's have a look at that one it's easy uh, go to dashboard posts tags choose the tag we want to use which is steam uh, view this tag listing page here so we're in post tags hover over the tag you want to use click view and this shows us the listing page for the tag of Steam. Now I want to copy the URL. Copy that. Then all we need to do is paste that URL in this when it says links. We're in parents menus. Make sure you're using the right uh, menu categories and tags. That's the menu I want to use. Uh, click links. Paste your URL in there. And this was. post tagged with steam so add to menu or click save menu and now if we have a look at our page <coughs> pardon me yet again <coughs> oh pardon me right so if we have a look now we've got the category of cars so we'll go to that page this is post in the category of cars scroll down you could have you know 10 20 whatever you want posts in there and we've got post tagged with steam so we've got that one same sort of a thing intro text a bit of blurb there <clears throat> and we've got these are posts that have been tagged with steam so one way of doing it is putting things into a category and the other way is by having them uh, by just adding a tag to the post you can do this with posts but not pages it's also this is what Brian Clark calls um, cornerstone content pages because you can list you make like a bit of a magazine underneath this bit of introductory text here anyway I've made a web page to go with a video and I'll put it underneath the link I'll put the link underneath this video on YouTube so you can get a bit more information thanks for watching um, I've, been, I've used a theme by Studio Press called Whitespace Pro. This bit here, the real difference is this bit here. Not all themes will let you put that bit above your listings. And these listings are only um, in like third columns because that's how the theme lists them. Most themes will have it in a, a normal blog style listing. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye for now.